Hi, I'm Grace Farra, and this is a prenatal safe movement sequence that focuses on circulation and feeling good. We're going to start in all fours position. Starting all fours with cat cow, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Inhale, lift your chest, look forward, feel the stretch through the front of the body. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest, round your spine. Lift between the shoulder blades, feel like you're really pushing the floor away. Again, inhale, lift your chest, open the front of the body. Exhale, chin to your chest, press to the arms, press the floor away, lift between your shoulder blades. One more time, inhale, lift, feel the spine extend. And exhale, chin to your chest, round. And then neutral spine position, going for an alternating hip stretch. So left foot steps to the outside of the left hand, Walk the hands forward just a little bit, let the hips sink into the stretch, and then send the left foot back, send the hips back, get a little stretch here, a little counter stretch. Right foot steps to the outside of the right hand, let the hips sink forward, lift your chest, get the stretch, and then send the foot back. Send the hips back, just get a little counter stretch. And left foot, we're gonna do five sets of this. Step forward, sink into the hips, and then let the hips shift back. And then shift forward, inhale, lift, and then exhale, send the foot back. As you're doing this, that leg, that movement of the leg, it requires a lot of energy, a lot of movement to get that leg all the way up. And then feel that stretch, the muscles have to really extend, and then shifting everything back, shoulders, hands, wrists, getting used, hip stretch, lengthen the spine, lift in the chest, and to the right. We got one more set after this. Keep breathing with it. One more time, inhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand, lift your chest, exhale, shift the hips back. One more time, right foot to the outside of the right hand, lift your chest, hip stretch, and send the hips back. Come up onto your high knees position. Have your knees hip width apart. Go for some arm circles. Arms go up, back, and down. Just do three each direction. Feel the stretch in the shoulders and your chest. One more. And then reverse. Inhale, arms go back and up. Exhale, arms come forward. Inhale, around and up. Exhale, arms forward. One more. And then you're going to take your side angle stretch. Take your right leg, bend your knee, toe to the points to the side. Take your forearm on the thigh, extend your left arm overhead, and bend that knee deep to the side. Feel the stretch to the inside of the thigh of the right leg. Big inner thigh groin stretch. Also getting that stretch to that left hip. You're going to counter stretch. As you come through center, that left arm is going to reach all the way to the floor. Right leg extends. Left arm finds the floor, right arm reaches up, I push into my left arm, I push into my hip, I'm really stretching the right side of my body, it feels really good, and then I pull myself to come back up, and we do the other side. Right knee in, left knee out, side angle, forearm to the thigh, let the knee bend over, right arm reaches up and over, take that stretch. Option to deepen it, you can take that hand to the inside of the foot, really getting that inner thigh groin stretch, big stretch through the right side of the body, counter stretch, come up through center, right arm reaches all the way for the floor, left leg extends out, left arm reaches overhead, push into that right arm, push into the right hip, feel the stretch to the left side of the body, and come back up to vertical. We're going into our down dog, up dog stretches, so come back to your all fours position. You're gonna tuck your toes, Knees and feet are hip width apart here, okay? Tuck your toes, you're gonna push into your hands, send your hips back as you tip your forehead to the mat, extend through the legs as much as you can. So the knees might stay bent, the heels might not hit the, the ground, you're reaching the tush back, you're reaching through the arms as much as you can. Shift forward, come onto the knees. Now your hands have to take a step forward. Walk one hand width forward, Send the hips forward, lift your chest, get the stretch through the front of the body. And then as you send your hips back, walk the hands back, one hand print, extend through the back of the legs. Maybe thinking about the heels pushing a little bit closer to the floor, 
backs of the knees a little bit more extended. Also totally option to keep the heels lifted, knees bent. Shifting forward, knees to the mat, walk the hands forward, one hand print, hips forward, lift your chest, and send the hips back, walk the hands back. Two more times here. Inhale, extend the hips up. Exhale, come through your knees. Inhale, hands walk forward, lift your chest as the hips press forward. Exhale, send the hips back. Hands walk back, inhale, hips go up as the legs extend. Exhale, knees to the mat, hands walk forward. One more time here. Inhale, lift your chest, hips go forward. Exhale, walk the hands back. Okay, come up to a standing position. Just walk on up, we're going to our footwork. All right, can't see my face, but that's okay. Let's take hands on hips, feet parallel, hip width apart. Bend your knees, straighten your legs, lift your heels, lower the heels. Bend your knees, my chest, my shoulders are staying right over my hips. I'm feeling that stretch in the back of my ankle. Straighten your legs, lift your heels, lower your heels. One more, really good to work and strengthen the feet and the ankles, not only for balance and strength, but also circulation, right? Our feet often get really swollen. Okay, going in for the second variation of your footwork, you're gonna bend your knees, pause here. You're gonna lift your heels, keeping your hips where they are. You're gonna straighten your legs and then lower the heels. Two more times like that, bend your knees, keep your hips where they are. You're gonna lift your heels, the knees will shift forward a little bit. You're gonna straighten your legs, lower the hips down. One more time like that. Thinking about the muscles and the feet working because that's where we need that blood flow to go. Lift your heels, straighten your legs, lower the heels. Then you reverse it, so you lift your heels up first. Bend your knees over the toes. Heels lowered down to the mat, and then the legs straighten. Legs stay straight as you lift your heels. Keep the heels lifted as you bend your knees over the toes. You're gonna keep the hips here as you lower the heels down to the mat. Straighten the legs one more time like that. Legs stay straight as you lift your heels. Heels stay lifted as you bend your knees. Knees stay bent as you lower the heels and then straighten your legs. Go in for your reverse lunges. You want your feet hip width apart, maybe even a little bit wider. One leg goes back, bend the knee, maybe we tap it to the mat, and then we come back up. And we alternate, bending one knee down to the mat, and then coming back up. And as we go, thinking about this hip width position, we need that base of support. Think about your footwork. When you step back, that back foot, that toe, has to really stretch. We like that stretch. Also, focus on the stretch to the front of the thigh of the leg that's going back. We wanna really keep the front of the body open. Got a lot going on there right now. And, uh, well, if you're, if you're pregnant. And two more sets. We do like eight to 10 sets of these. Get a lot of blood flow in the legs. Work that range of motion. One more set here. And then standing on two feet, you're gonna go for hip rotations. Your knee is gonna rotate forward and open, and then you're gonna alternate. Forward and open. My thigh comes forward, my knee is bent, I'm just relaxing at the knee as I rotate my thigh inside of the hip socket. As I do this, I wanna find that range of motion and that also the stability of the standing side, right? We're working circulation in the hip joint. Right, we wanna bring a lot of circulation into the hips. Reverse the direction, the knee opens out to the side and swings forward, working that range of motion. Also feeling some of the stretch to the inner thigh and the groin area maybe. We like those stretches. You do three to five sets on each side. So good for blood flow. One more set, and then we're gonna take your sumo squats. Feet and knees a little bit wider than hips turned out, hands behind your head, bend your knees, deep squat back, and then up. We'll do 10 of these, and squat back, and up. Really think about your tushy going back behind you, like really like you're reaching for a chair that's a little bit too far behind you, because I want you to feel that the, the stretch in the tushy. 
keep the chest lifted. Don't, don't round your back and knees. You want to stick, almost feel like you're sticking your tushy out. Like, like you just don't care. Stick it out. Like you just don't care. Feel how you're really stretching all those muscles through the back of the pelvis that connect all the way underneath the groin. We're stretching and then we are strengthening. Let's do five more and up. Four more and up. Feel the stretch, feel the work through the tushy. Three more, think of the circulation in the legs, right? I feel good. Two more. Last one and take a breath. We're going into high lunges. So let's find your setup. Let's take left foot forward, right leg back. Feet are hip width apart. Right leg as it goes back. I'm gonna take my hands to my front thigh for balance. Left foot in front of right hip, right leg behind right hip. Just keep your hands on your front thigh for balance. If you feel really great, take the hands behind your head or hands can cross in front. Finding that strength in that left thigh to just hold this position, feels really good. We're gonna straighten that front leg just like halfway, a little lift about halfway, and then push, try to get a little deeper, five times. Little lift, we're not fully straightening, and then bend a little bit deeper. Feeling the stability and the balance in that front leg. Always an option, grab a chair. Just grab a chair. If the balance is really tricky here, just not, not worth it. Just grab that chair and hold on working the legs. Let's call this one five. Second variation, you're gonna step forward. That right foot is gonna come to like a kickstand. Toe on the floor, heel lifted. Lift the knee, find the balance. Foot to a kickstand, go back to your high lunge. Send that leg far back, hold. Step forward into your kickstand. Lift the knee, find the balance. Lower to your kickstand, reverse, high lunge. Repeat that or come all the way up, knee lifts. Go all the way back down, reverse lunge. You can bypass the kickstand or you can use it where necessary, right? And down, doing like five of these. We'll do three more. Big range of motion for that front leg. Two more. Feel that foot working. One more. And take the foot down, shake out the standing leg. We'll do the other side. Right leg front, left leg back, high lunge. Hands on the front thigh for balance. Feet are hip width apart. First, front foot grounded. Find the stretch of the back thigh. Hands can stay on your thigh or come in front or extend up. You're gonna straighten the front leg halfway, get a little reprieve, and then bend, try to get a little deeper. Five times, two, and bend, and three. Every time you bend deeper, ooh, we're really looking for the stretch of that front of that hip and thigh, because lordy, don't we, we just wanna open up that pelvis. Just opening up the pelvis. Keep your lunge, hold. You're gonna step forward, find your kickstand. I typically just take my arms down in front. This is just my go-to balance move. Left knee lifts, find the balance. Find your kickstand. Left foot reaches back, high lunge. Arms come up and step forward. Left foot finds the kickstand. Left knee lifts all the way up. Left foot finds the kickstand. Reach back, high lunge. Repeat that or option, challenge yourself. Come all the way forward and up, lift the knee. Send your leg all the way back for high lunge. Arms come up for balance, it helps. And arms lower, they come into the waist as the knee lifts. Whoopsies. And reach it back. We'll do one more. Knee lifts all the way up. Find that balance using the kickstand whenever necessary. Find that high lunge. And then step forward, arms down, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna go deep squats. So this is where we're gonna do a deep, deep yogi squat, malasana. So if you wanna grab some books, grab a book that's about, about that thick and you place it maybe and you place them underneath your heels. Makes it a lot easier. I'm gonna use my little two pounder free weights. If you got these, these are actually perfect. You place it about hip width apart and then feet on the floor, heels are lifted. You can see my positioning there. I'm a little externally rotated and we bend your knees, send the hips back, hands to prayer, 
knees are elbows are pushing the knees wide this feels great adding a little lift for the heel in malasana in this deep yogi squat uh, really gets a lot of extra range of motion in the hips we're here for five more seconds holding this stretch you'll feel how it feels good at first and then the muscles start feeling fatigued because you're actually supporting yourself in this position so we're here for five more seconds four three two now we're going to come all the way back up to standing before you do that engage your glutes feel like you're pushing your feet into the floor and then you just stand all the way up you can take your arms all the way to the ceiling or keep them hands prayer in front of your chest and then come all the way back down five of these pressing all the way up for two and all the way back down three more all the way back up if this bothers your knees then just skip it or shorten the range of motion really thinking about the glutes being active in this helps but if it's bugging your knees just don't even stress it if holding malasana feels good to you though go ahead and do that because that's so good for our hips and our pelvis as we're preparing okay take a rest in your malasana one more moment holding five four three two Take your hands to the mat and just come on, shift forward onto our knees again. Take the weights or your books out of the way and we're gonna come into our camel pose position. So you're gonna have your knees hip width apart, take your hands behind your tushy, palms face in, fingers are down, push the hips forward, lift your chest, take an inhale, and then exhale, come to neutral, drop your chin to your chest, tuck your toes, repeat that variation or take hands to your heels send the hips and the chest forward get the stretch to the front of the body and then chin to your chest come forward into your all fours position we're going to do hip rotations from all fours so the, we're going to start with the left leg the left leg is going to go back at a 90 degree angle now i'm going to rotate in my hip joint as i take the knee to the side it's almost like i'm a doggy peeing on a fire hydrant right and then lower the knee down. So I go 90 degrees behind my hip. As I rotate to the side, my knee, I'm trying not to drop it. I'm keeping my knee high, right? And then lower it down. That's what makes it hard for the hip. We do five this direction behind you for three. Rotate the hip high to the side, lower back down, reaching behind you for four, rotating to the side, lower back down. One more. This is working your range of motion in your hips as well as your strength. Reverse the direction. Now that same leg is gonna lift 90 degrees to the side, rotate it 90 degrees behind you, and knee to knee, five times this direction. Rotate it to the side, feel that rotation in the hip socket, it goes behind you, lowering down three more times to the side, rotating behind you, lowering down. The leg being parallel to the floor is the challenge. The thigh really wants to drop down to the floor, but we're really trying to keep it lifted. Rotate it behind you, lower the knee down. Send that same leg, that left leg, forward for a pigeon. Left knee comes forward between the hands. Good, can you see me okay? And you can come on down to, you can stay on the hands or come to the forearms, whatever feels better and really whatever feels like you have more space for, right? Feeling that stretch in that left hip. Take a breath here. So those, those last exercises really draw a lot of blood flow into the hips, and now we're like really stretching that muscle. So kind of really pay attention to all that high energy, high energy in that left tushy. All right, let's come back up onto our all fours positions. We'll prepare for the right side. Right leg goes behind you, 90 degree angle. You're gonna rotate that thigh to the side, 90 degrees, you kind of lose my leg, and lower back down, but trust me, it's to the side, it's really high back to the side. Right leg goes behind you, 90 degrees, rotate to the side, 90 degrees, and lower it down. And again, back for three, rotate to the side, and lower, back for four, rotate to the side, and lower, back for five, rotate to the side, and you're gonna reverse it. Right leg goes to the side, rotate that leg behind you 90 degrees and down. Remember, thigh stays parallel to the floor. Lift it all the way up to the side. 
and then rotate it behind you. Lower it down. Keep it leg parallel. As you lift that leg, don't lift the hips. Hips stay square. Leg goes behind you and lower. One more to the side. Right leg to the side, to behind you, and then right leg comes forward for pigeon. As the right knee comes between the hands, you scoot the hips down and back. Right foot is pretty much in line with the hip. You can stay in your hands or come down to the forearms, taking a breath. Really feel all that high energy, high energy in that, in that glute. Taking a breath here and then coming back up onto your high knees position. We're going to do your kneeling side sit-ups. Take your gate position, right leg out to the side. Your foot is in line with that left knee. Hands go behind your head. They're gonna side bend over to the left, lengthening down that right side of the body, and then you're gonna lift and come right back up to vertical, and you can side bend towards the leg. And you're gonna lift through center, find that moment where you're nice and vertical, and then side bend away, find that moment where again, you're vertical, crown of the head to that standing heel, that is a straight line. Come up, find your straight line here, and side bend towards the leg, nice side bend through the body, lift through center, side bend away. As you reach away, find that straight line where that right side of the waist is really kicking in, and then side bend towards. Do eight of these, I think we did four, let's do four more, lift through center, side bend away, straight line crown of the head to heel, lift, standing tall through the crown of the head, side bend towards the leg. Lift through center, side bend away, reach through the crown of the head, feel that right side of the waist engage, lift through center, side bend towards, two more here, lift through center, side bend away, you want the right side of the waist to engage, right side of the waist pulls you up, side bend towards, one more time, center, side sit up, center, side bend, and then lift through center, take your hands down to the mat in front of you. Hands come down to the mat in front of you, legs stay in that gate position. We're going for an inner thigh hamstring stretch on the right leg. I'm, my hands are pretty much right underneath my shoulders. Now I have range of motion, so I'm gonna come down to my forearms. So I'm having the, the leg extended right to the side, I'm dropping my chest down, and I'm feeling that big stretch in the inner thigh and the hamstring of the right leg. You can shift your hips back or shift your hips forward and you'll feel where that stretch short, sort of shifts around a little bit in that inner thigh. We want to release some of those muscles of the inner thigh and the groin and the pelvis and then walk the hands back up, right knee in, come up to vertical, left leg out. Side sit ups, other direction. Hands go behind the head. You're gonna side sit up away from that straight leg, find a straight line, crown of the head all the way down that heel, left side of the waist is working. We lift through center, we find a moment where we're vertical, and then we side bend towards the leg, cause that feels good. Come through center, side bend away. Straight line of the body, heel to the crown of the head, lift through center, find your posture, side bend towards the leg, find that side bend. We do eight of these, this is three. Side bend away. Lift through center, side bend away, breathing with it, working that oblique, right? Side bend away, you get this stretch, but then also you feel that strength and towards, uh, you guys keep going. I, my light just turned off. Hang on a second. We're gonna do it. Is it working? I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. Side bend, are you side bending? Away, <laughs> side bend, and towards, and we'll do two more. Side bend, is that eight? Hopefully that's eight. Side bend away, you wanna work that waist, yes. Lift through center, side bend towards. One more, side bend away, lift through center, side bend towards, lift through center, and take your hands down to the mat in front of you. Hands are right in front of your shoulders. We're going inner thigh hamstring stretch of that left leg. If you got it in you, come down to the forearms. Maybe the outside forearm can come down first and then the inside forearm can follow. Feeling that big stretch in that left inner thigh and hamstring. Maybe shifting the hips back or shifting the hips forward. 
getting that stretch, feeling where it shifts a little bit, it changes. Whether you're back and forward, you can stay in one spot as long as you want to. And then walking the hands back up, knees together. We're gonna take a child's pose, wide-legged child's pose. So take toes together, knees apart, send your hips back, arms stretch forward. Take a breath here, stretch out the shoulders and the back. Walk both hands over to the right. Rotate the left armpit down towards the mat just a little bit. Feel the stretch of the left side of the rib cage. And then walk both hands over to the left. Rotate the right armpit down towards the mat. Stretch to the right side of the rib cage. And then come through center. Walk the hands back in. Last pose is your frog pose. So you might wanna have this so that your knees are uh, perpendicular to the mat. So if the mat is lengthwise like this, this is how you're be facing. So the knees are gonna go wide. You're gonna find your all fours position here. So I've got my mat lengthwise. I'm in all fours and I'm gonna start walking my knees apart from each other. So I'm taking my knees out to the sides and I'm lowering my pelvis to the mat. Now, I'm keeping my hips in line with my knees. I'm not shifting them forward and I'm not shifting them back. It makes it harder. My hips are right in line with my knees. I'm trying to keep my feet in line with my knees also, so they're not together. They're, that's why this is a frog position. And then maybe you can come down to the forearms. This is a really intense stretch for the inside of the pelvis. You come down as much as you can still breathe. Since you can still breathe, take three breaths, walk your hands underneath yourself, ease yourself out of the stretch and then just take a breather break actually really good counter stretch sit on your tushy take your hands back behind you and just internally rotate your thighs for a second just to give yourself a little counter and then do it again it's not a bad idea to do it three times through so roll back over go into your all fours again start walking your knees out to the side remember your feet are going out too and then you come down onto the pelvis. Maybe you can come down to your forearms. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is where we are today. That's totally fine. Take a second, because you can still breathe. Take three breaths. One, two, three. Walk the hands back in. Bring the feet in. Carefully pull yourself out of the stretch. Counter stretch. Get yourself onto the tushy. Recline back onto your hands. Find that internal rotation in the hip joints. Give yourself a breather break. And then we'll just do two rounds here. Feel free to do another one. You can hit pause. And then we take Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. Interlace your fingers through the front of the toes. Elbows rest front. Let your head hang. Take three breaths here. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Let your head hang. Stretch through the back of the neck. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And then support your knees as you come back up. And I uh, hope that all the circulation and the blood flow is making you feel really good right now.